And you know our next guest from shows including Lost, The Good Doctor, and Hawaii Five-0, and now he's taking on the lead role as an FBI agent on the front lines of a national security threat from 20 years ago for National Geographic's channel, National Geographic Channel's The Hot Zone Anthrax. Welcome, Daniel Day Kim. Hey. Thank you so much for being here. It's a pleasure. So first things first, you look great. How was your Thanksgiving? <laughs> Uh, thanks. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. Uh, it was really good. I actually, uh, you know, I have some really good friends here. Uh, and so uh, my family, who was, happens to be all together, which is a rare occurrence these days, yes. uh, uh, we trudged out to Maplewood, New Jersey, uh, not too far away. And you'll see in is the that photo. The crew? Yeah, that, that's from last that. night. I love that. Uh, our, good, our good friends, Joel De La Fuente, who is, a, who is an actor as well. And to, the, to the, the right of him is the director of the first episode of The Hot Zone. Uh, along with our family, so it was a, a really special Thanksgiving. It's so nice to be able to see family photos like that again, where we were all yeah. sitting around the table and after after everything we went through last year. We have to enjoy it while it lasts, yeah, I think. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Your family must be really proud of you. You've been in the business three decades now, and this is the first lead in a series for you. What, what what's that mean? Um, it means a lot. You know, um, when I first started out, I was doing kind of under five roles and extra roles, and and to be able to climb the ladder to the point. Where where, uh, you know, I'm leading a show is, is, is really special. And it's not something that every actor gets to experience. So I feel grateful. Yeah. One more thing to be grateful for this Thanksgiving. Exactly. <laughs> and, and this series is based on real events. What's it like to act out something that really played out 20 years ago? You know, uh, it, it's, it's a bit of a responsibility because this was a very serious event in our history and we wanted to make sure that we did it justice and we were very respectful to the people uh, who were involved in every way. And so uh, our writers and producers went to great lengths to make sure that, that we were uh, treating this subject matter with the right tone. And we do have a clip this morning. Let's go ahead and take a look and we'll chat more on the other side. Still, we can't rule out the potential of a bio agent. These planes could have been used as a method of dispersal. Pick the highest point in the city, let gravity do the rest. Get the hazmat units mobilized. Extreme heat can destroy a toxin like botulinum, but the spores that produce the toxin are heat resistant. Yes. Oh my God. Is that a right for Man, look at that. Now, this is a dramatized retelling, but it's pulling back the curtain on real events. So many people went through this scary time, and they had to do a lot to keep citizens safe. Yeah, they really did, and uh, you're absolutely right. Um, this was a time right after the towers fell, and this was only weeks after that. And so we did uh, a lot to make sure that we got a nine-year investigation the events of a nine-year investigation into six hours. So right. there was, there's a lot of twists and turns that uh, I don't personally remember, or I didn't until starting to work on this series. Yeah, it's, it's crazy when you think back about what we all lived through at that time, the offices being evacuated and you being told to not open your mail, stuff like that. It was, it was a very real, real scare for all of us. Absolutely, and you know, I, I remember the headlines, but like the nuances and the details of what happened were actually a really big surprise. So what's this about you wanted to be a lawyer, but you decided to go into acting here? <laughs> That's <laughs> true. Take that one. That's true. My parents, uh, you know, being a young Korean American kid, acting wasn't necessarily encouraged in my family. Uh, so it was either kind of law or medicine. My dad's a doctor. He was a doctor. And so I was like, well, I guess I, I don't want to be a doctor. I guess I'll be a lawyer kind of a thing. And uh, uh, we all see how that ended up. <laughs> a family disappointment. Yeah, exactly. You've done okay going, going your own way. Uh, right. You've also added producing to your resume as well, and The Good Doctor now in season five. What's it like to operate behind the camera? Wow, it's, uh, first of all, another thing I'm very grateful for, you know, to have a, to have a successful series on the air for five seasons is no small feat, and, uh, and I give all the credit to our, our writers and our great cast, um, but it's fun um, being behind the scenes. It's nice to be able to create worlds and to, to be able to populate them the way that I see them and, uh, and just to kind of uh, enable others to do great work. I know that actors love to look forward and don't dwell on the past too much. However, you were on Lost, one of the greatest shows in television history. We're coming up on the 20-year yep. anniversary of that show. Okay. Any chance for a reboot, a revisit, anything? I get asked that question all the time. <laughs> I know, I'm sure you did. As I asked it, I was like, I gotta ask it. No, no. You know what? Um, it was an incredibly special time in my life, as you might guess. And I can't believe it's 20 years ago already. 
uh, you know, if the powers that be want to do a, a reboot of it, I would just want to make sure that it's done right and done well. You know, I, you know, I thought the people behind the series the first time, Damon and JJ, uh, were fantastic, and you know, I'd I'd want to see what they have to to do and say about the subject before I weigh in. We're gonna call that a maybe. Yeah, yeah. 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 sure. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take it. Daniel, thank you so much. The three night event, the Hot Zone Anthrax, premieres this Sunday, 9 p.m. National Geographic Channel. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.